Hello YouTube, today I've got with me my Brick Shooter version 2 and this will be a mechanism video for it. So if you're looking for the original video of this gun and how all the features work including the magazine, how many rounds, just me shooting it at some targets, then you can check out the original video and there will be a link to that in the description. There will also be a link to a tutorial for this magazine here because the magazine is kind of hard to create. But other than that, this will just be a mechanism video showing you how all of the functions work in conjunction. And yeah, so this magazine is loaded like so. That way you guys know how this works. So you take the bullet, the 1x2 standard brick, you just put it in there. And then when you insert it into the gun, this will click and then it will load the bullets up into the gun. So I've already got a mag loaded and you stagger the bullets like that so they don't stick together. So you just load that in your gun and you can just cock it back and then aim at your target and shoot. So as you can see it's got pretty good power and it works quite well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this mechanism video. Okay guys, I'm back with the gun kind of disassembled. All I've done here is removed a few parts. So this from here, this panel from the handle, this from the top, and then this uh, sight piece that was holding it all together. So once it's all disassembled, it looks like this. So now you may be able to see why a tutorial is quite difficult. So I hope you guys can benefit from this mechanism video, and I'm going to try my best here. So first I want to go over the uh, magazine. So what you have here is the simple lock down like so. So this holds this down, and the bullets rest on that for now. So this is what happens when your magazine is loaded. So I'll show you guys this one after I demonstrate with this. So as you can see there would be bullets in here and they would just rest like so. The rubber band has tension on it and it's wanting to push this up. So what happens is when you insert the magazine through the pathway here it goes into this. This thing starts engaging and this is the magazine release. So I probably should have done this before but as you'll see, this release will click that way, holding the magazine in place by this. And then this notch here, which is actually mounted with this support here, this actually keeps it in place and makes it really sturdy, also at the same time hits here, causing the uh, bullets to want to go up, and this causes the magazine not to want to fall out. So as you'll see, when you push in, like so. This would normally be more supported so it did kind of flex out but you get the point. The bullets would shoot up and then the magazine I'll pull on here will have tension but it's locked. So I added this nice feature here which you can push up. So as you can see you can push up like that and then just pull out the magazine. So here I'll show you guys with some bullets. So you take the mag, push it in standardly like so and now watch here as the mag pushes in this releases and then I was holding here but this will also release causing it to want, not want to do this see as you can see if this wasn't here then this would fall out so the two key points on the magazine that are important are when this is like this you need to have something here when it's pushing in to push it like that causing this to be released and then you also need something locking about here is what my recommended thing is and yeah so that's going to be your mag release so as soon as you release that your mag is going to want to go out so that's how the magazine and loading works and the gun is semi-auto so you have to cock it each time so now I'll go into that portion of the mechanism. Okay so now you know how the bullet is fed so I'll show you how what happens to the bullet after the gun is actually cocked back. So what happens is the bullet is fed exactly here so the magazine is pushing up here and so there's something blocking this right here as you can see so that's what happens while the gun is idle 
just stationarily like that. And so, let me try to focus this. And so what happens is when you cock it, there's constant pressure on the bullet. So when you when this clears this pathway here, it, the bullet will push up. So what happens is when you cock it, is you push this back, the trigger will just bump down a hair. And so this whole black piece is controlling this whole section. So it goes like this, then like that, then over here. And these are directly connected to this. And this little nub here, let me get it caught on the trigger, is separate. So as you can see, this is free. So this is the rubber band which is launching. That is the launching peg, per se. And what happens is, when you push this all the way back, is this little piece here, that is being forced up by the bullet, will be constantly being pushed up. And so when you're pushing back, a space will clear. So as you can see, there will be a space here. So let me show you this happening. This is quite hard to do, but I will manage. Okay, so there you see, there's a space. Right there is where the bullet will be pushed in. So you can see that space right there. And so the bullet will be caught there. Let me actually load one in there real quick. So there's the bullet and the other piece kind of got lost here. So the bullet will be forced forward. Okay, so now it's going to be a little bit more stable. So you see the bullet is here. And so this piece is constantly being pushed up. So up by the other bullets. And it's also being forced forward by the rubber band, which actually fell off. So it's all um, blocked in by the wall, so that's why that doesn't happen. So what happens is the space clears, the bullet goes in, and then this pushes forward, stopping other bullets from getting into the path. So kind of moves back, accepts one, then moves forward, and blocks the rest of the bullets. And so what happens is, as you can see, this is the final process. The path is blocked by the trigger mechanism. I'll show you guys that in just a sec. And so the bullet and the red thing is caught here. So you would push this all the way forward. This is the cocking tool. So there's the bullet caught by the red thing. And watch what happens when the trigger is pulled. The bullet shoots. And you may have seen this come back up. There's the trigger system. Try to get some a better angle for you. So see that black nub there? That's what catches the bullet. And this trigger is also rubber band powered. So you can see when you push the trigger, that thing moves down, causing the bullet to be freed. Let me just set that down. So you can see that. Here's another good angle. Look right there. You pull the trigger, that clears. And so the bullet can move past there and it's released and that's how you fire it and then this red thing shoots the bullet through this path here quite dark but you get the point so that's how the mechanism of the gun works hopefully you guys could understand that and I tried to put it as best as possible so you can see my guns quite <laughs> destroyed but I think I got the point across Hopefully you guys could follow and enjoy that mechanism video, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them below. Like always, I'll try to respond. And don't forget to check out the original videos, the tutorial for the magazine if you want to. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.